Webster's defines charisma as a spiritual power or a personal quality that gives an individual influence or authority over large numbers of people. Some have added that a fighter's charisma combines superhuman talent with just the right dose of endearing crazy. It was that very combination of talent and crazy that made Joe Lewis an enduring icon for me. But I'm but one of millions. For more than four decades now, the martial arts world has embraced him as the supreme extreme warrior who always did things his way. The youngest of four North Carolina brothers, Joe Lewis developed his first level of fighting spirit at home. And as an 18-year-old in the Vietnam era, he joined the Marines, a singularly dawning brotherhood of its own to hone one inner and outer fighting spirit. In his Marine tenure in Okinawa, Joe Lewis focused positively all of his youth's frustrations, and it was there that his superhuman uniqueness began to emerge. He combined unparalleled fury, determination, talent to earn his black belt in an incredible seven months. In Vietnam, he would be challenged further, but he would make it through with no visible scars, and it was there he met lifelong friend Walter Anderson, now the editor emeritus of Parade Magazine, who saw in Lewis that spirit we all call indomitable. Joe Lewis used that spirit and a natural intelligence to build and balance his mental side. A voracious reader, he would transfix his listeners for hours on end with his passionate analysis of everything from fighting styles to mental chess. He was and is a consummate teacher, one of the best I've ever seen. Muhammad Ali once said, there's nothing more beautiful than a great right hand. Then there was Joe Lewis. A veritable gladiator, all eyes would be cast on him the moment he entered an arena, and there was laser beam focus on him in the ring. His good looks, his passion, his work ethic landed him early roles in Hollywood. But the yoke of conformity needed to realize his full potential there was too much for him to bear. By all rights, Joe Lewis could have been, and many of us feel should have been, one of the great martial arts stars of the big screen. But the timing just didn't click. Even Bruce Lee, prior to his own superstardom, had seen that magic ingredient in Lewis, and they became friends and training partners right away. Bruce's influence on Joe's life is with him still today, as evidenced in so much of Lewis's writing these past few years. Had Bruce Lee lived, who knows where that connection could have, would have led. Suffice it to say that Joe Lewis won every title there was, gained the admiration and respect of all who saw him, and mesmerized millions more who saw his passion, his power, and his vision from afar. He would, directly and indirectly, change the martial arts mold in America forever. His brainchild of full contact became the PKA. His execution of the front hand vertical punch created the genesis for today's quick, off-the-line, front-hand attacks. His analytics for the fight game have been without equal. He trained world champions. He was himself the consummate champion. President Ronald Reagan said in 1985, some people spend an entire lifetime wondering if they made a difference in the world, but the Marines don't have that problem. We know that this Marine, Joe Lewis, this martial arts extreme warrior, never has to wonder about the difference he has made. His spirit, his skill, his passion have changed so many lives in so many countries around this world that his uniquely powerful influence will never be forgotten. Joe Lewis, this global martial arts world sends its love to you. Please know how much we all appreciate you. Keep fighting the good fight, my friends.